Hi folks, hope you're okay today. We're here to share with you about the Word of God. And we're looking at a great Bible passage in Romans uh, chapter 8. It was a rubbish penalty, wasn't it? Romans chapter 8. And it says... Sorry, Romans chapter 5. It says, But God commended His love towards us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The Bible talks about Almighty God. That there is a God over the universe, a God over the throne, who's the throne of all things and the head of all things. He is the eternal, he is the eternal living God. He is the eternal living God. He is sovereign, he is almighty, he is all powerful, he is the great I am, he is the great Jehovah, he is the great and mighty God and God is over all things and God is all powerful and God is great and God is glorious. The Bible says, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. God is an awesome God. God is a great God. God is a mighty God. God is over all things. And God created the universe says in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. All things were created by Him. God is the Creator God over all things. And God wants you to know Him. He wants you to come and know Him and have a relationship with Him. But we are all fallen. We are all sinners. It says in the Word of God, all fall short of the glory of God, the Ten Commandments. Do not lie, do not steal, do not commit adultery. Honour your father and mother, do not cover, honour the Sabbath day. We break God's holy law. We break God's holy commandments. We all break them. And when we break them, we become guilty. But it says in Romans 8, it says in Romans 8 that it's now no condemnation, no condemnation to them that are in Christ. You can be forgiven and know it's love and peace in your life. To know that you're loved and to know that you're right with your Creator. To be right with the living God. God! is here for you today but you got to come to the cross and know that God paid your debt that God paid your debt with his own blood with his own son Jesus Christ Christ paid your debt on that cross that you may be reconciled to God that you may be reconciled to God to know your God, to be reconciled to God, to be right with God. He paid your debt on that cross. You said, Jay, how do I get into heaven? Believe on Him. Believe on Christ. Believe on Jesus Christ. Believe on Him. Believe on Christ. Believe on Jesus Christ, the Savior. Believe on Him. God demonstrates His own love to us that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And you can be reconciled to God and know God through His blood. Yeah, yeah you can take it, yeah? Hiya, mate. God bless you. 
you can be reconciled to God and know God as your father today. He paid your debt. He paid it with his own blood. God came down and paid your debt with his own blood. How will you get into heaven? How will you know God? By God, sacrifice for you. His sacrifice brings you into God. His sacrifice brings you into God and brings you into God's love and brings you into God's salvation. The sacrifice of Christ. He who knew no sin, he who never lied, the Son of God, laid down his life on that cross for you. He laid down his life, whipped and mocked and humiliated, crushed, and he was crushed on that cross. Crushed on that cross for you. What love to know God because of the sacrifice for you. Because of his sacrifice for you. You cannot knock on the doors of heaven with secularism. You cannot knock on the doors of heaven with politically correctness. You cannot knock on the door of heaven with porn, with drugs, with alcohol, with sex. You knock on the doors of heaven by saying, Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my Lord. Oh, come to Jesus. Find life. Find peace in Jesus today. God bless you.